Welcome to Little Bracket of Horrors, the pod that puts the fight in right. Back again, 2024. Back, back, back again. <laughs> yeah, this is our kickoff episode. I'm Derek. I'm Shelly. And we are... And I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aww, all right. Uh, sorry. <laughs> there's a little... There's an indentation in my couch that's just crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a beard hair, too. <laughs> yeah, or two. <laughs> enough, to, enough to build a mustache. Right, exactly. But uh, yeah, we are a little bracket of horrors. Uh, welcome to our kickoff episode for the 2024 season. Uh, today we're going to talk about some changes we're making with segments just to try to make things more conversational. And then we will uh, we'll get to building our wheel, talking about the movies we chose this year. Yeah. But first and foremost, Shelly. How are you? I'm I'm great. I Derek got all this brand new setup. It's so <laughs> fancy in Ooh. here. And but I'm so not used to this mic. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm used to having my little like karaoke singing mic exactly. that I can just like move around with. So <laughs> um bear with me as I get used to d- talking directly yep. into a microphone. <laughs> yeah. You got to learn to walk again. Yeah. I got to learn to walk. I'm just like a baby podcaster. Aww. Just little, a baby. Little babies. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's been a while since we've gotten together. We took a little break. Yeah, uh, the holidays. Yep. Um, you know, it's nice to wrap up the season prior to like Thanksgiving, at least, or maybe even Christmas, at least Christmas and New Year's because mm. I'm, you know, I travel for Christmas with my family and you guys yep. have like all your family stuff yep. going on. So mm. um, yeah, so it's been, so happy New Year. Yeah, it's 2024. Year. Woohoo. <laughs> how, how was Christmas? You traveled. Where'd you go to? Uh, we went to just outside of Helen, Georgia. So like the North yes. Georgia mountains. Looked gorgeous. Yeah. Great little trip. Yeah. I tried some local breweries and like, um, Coffee, caf- uh, cafe, cafes, <laughs> coffee places. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know, of course, went into Helen, had some good German food, German mm. beers. Yeah. Did a couple hikes. It was a really nice trip. Yeah. It, it the pictures looked amazing. Uh, Carrie and I have talked about going up to Helen for a couple years. Yeah. She said, "I'm using your trip to get yeah, up here." Yeah. Exactly. Like, Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be taking tips when we finally make that yes. trip. Yes. I'll gotcha. Got yeah. you back. But yeah, we, we kept it local to Florida uh, for the holidays, did some family stuff. Um, we did elephant, white, white elephant, white elephant, gift thank exchange, you. Yeah, yeah, the white elephant. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Carrie made those saran wrap balls. I think that's the first year your family has done that. Yeah, everyone, I think it was a hit. Everyone loved it. So the idea of it is you just get a lot of candy, a lot of random stuff. Like cheap gifts. Yeah, Maybe cheap. for adults, like a scratch off here and yep, there or something exactly. like that. Exactly. And then you just, you continuously wrap it in saran wrap. And as you go, you put more and more stuff in. So you just have this huge ball of saran wrap. And then uh, you roll dice. And I think you have to roll doubles. Something like that. Yeah. yeah you can set whatever rule you want. Like yeah. what you need to roll to like pass it. So the actual rule of it is that you have to wear oven, oven mitts. mitts. Yeah. So when we got to the party and the kids started going, I was like, maybe we should just next the oven mitts and maybe just let them use their hands. So we did that and they were rolling snake eyes real quick. Oh, yeah. Well, not well, doubles. But um, yeah, the kids, Your kids are a it. bunch of gamblers. They yeah, know they're, what snake eyes are. <laughs> <laughs> they're out shooting dice yeah. in the streets. <laughs> But um, yeah, it was it was a ton of fun. Um, my wife is always f- coming up with creative, fun stuff. So, just par for the course with Carrie. C Dubs, man. Yeah, she's really. She's really got the artistic eye for those <laughs> things. <laughs> she likes she likes a party. She, she does like a good party. She does like a good party. Two sider carry. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> she's my favorite. Yeah, but yeah. Well, should we ask the age old question that we always kick off every podcast? Yes, let's do that. Because I know you've stayed pretty active, but have I you have. seen any scary or has anything scary happened to you since we last talked? So I watched watched some recent movies, uh, When Evil Lurks, which okay, you, I sent you a list. It was it was like the top horror movies of twenty twenty three? I think, yeah, on, from last year. Yeah, on Letterbox. Yeah, they I, I'm I'm not on Letterbox. Yeah, I, maybe I'm too I'm too cool for Letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I get like sponsored posts and like that came up or someone that I knew liked it. So I was like, oh, okay, it showed up in like a feed. I'm like, oh, interesting. Yeah. 
but it's interesting because I've I've been listening to a lot of podcasts too. A lot of people are doing 2023 best horror films wrap ups, kind of wrap thing. ups, and everyone loved When Evil Lurks. I don't even remember it coming out. It's on Shutter. Was it a Shutter like straight to Shutter kind of streaming type of thing? I think it might have been. I know. I don't even remember. I know a lot of people talked about seeing it in a theater. Yeah. I don't ever remember seeing anything around here as far as hey. E- when evil when lurks. lurks yeah i don't remember so um i don't know some other ones like talk to me like exactly that i knew that yeah exactly so i watched it on shutter and there was a lot that was great about it but there was one part of it and i'm trying to stay spoiler free but there was one aspect of the movie that absolutely ruined all the greatness for me and i just it pissed me off yeah. like i finished the movie and was pissed because here was like a Mona Lisa that they were making, and then they just threw peanut butter on it. Oh, and man. I was like, come on. What are we doing? I love peanut butter, though. P- peanut butter's <laughs> great, but not on the Mona Lisa. <laughs> I guess so not. they were so close. But yeah, I was just, I was so upset. And tons of great stuff about the movie, but the, just the one part ruined it yeah. and it just pissed me off. So nice. I just think it's funny that people loved it, and I was just, I was so let down by it. But it's like across the board, like it's in people's like top three. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Maybe I'll have to watch it. It's I do want you to watch it because I, I want us to discuss, discuss it freely. It. All right. Yes. Yeah, we can do that. Cool. How about you? Do you watch anything? Um, I finally caught Knock at the Cabin. Oh, so did I. It was an M. Night Shyamalan. Blah, blah, Shyamalan, blah. yep. Um, whereas sometimes makes you really fill in the pieces. He likes to do that. Yes. He likes you to leave it up to the imagination. However, what killed it for me was the casting choices in that movie. Okay. <laughs> Not that it, I'm sitting here saying that like Dave Batista should always play like weird characters or like yeah. big buffy man but they put him in this like really em- empathetic sympathy type role and yeah. it just <laughs> i just sat there and i'm like i can't take him seriously and he was the most serious character out yes. of like all of them and so i don't know i'm i sometimes i'm tired of staying a spoiler free but yeah um it, i i'm glad i didn't have any spoilers uh-huh of what that was about but i picked up on it right away as it got into the movie what they were doing i yes yeah so, and um, i figured out which each one of them were oh that's nice based on the I original was, story what's the original story they were the four horsemen of the apocalypse oh yeah okay <laughs> yeah i got that i thought maybe there was like a book oh, yeah, yeah, that this no, was no. based off no okay cool but as soon as they started like there was four of them and i was like yes. oh my gosh i did the four horsemen of the apocalypse like easy. yeah and as you go it becomes more and more yeah, apparent yeah. what's going on yeah brutal killing scenes in that one yeah. but but i'd be amiss if i don't mention because now we're heading into oscar season so you will hear me heavily talk about oscar movies i'll be watching them yeah um I have to mention Saltburn because I am obsessed. I still have yet to see it. Oh but my god, it's gonna happen. I don't know. If I you can't really group it into like a horror care category. So like we would never, I would never put it on like a list for for yeah. the bag to make it into our bag mm-hmm. basically. But oh my god, it just I'm obsessed with the director now. Um, she did Promising Young Woman, and if you've never seen Promising Young Woman, have you seen it? No, but Carrie and I have a wheel as well, and I put Promising oh Young Woman god. on it because I want to see it. So. Uh, I almost want to be like, just watch them. <laughs> no, <laughs> Take okay. them off the wheel just and watch them. Skip it and watch it. <laughs> Tell I'm cool Carrie, with that. like, we're picking it. All right. It, well, you know she'll what? like Promising Young Woman a lot. Yeah. I don't know if she could handle Saltburn. Okay. <laughs> I think she could maybe handle it, but like. She watched crazy stuff with me back in the day. Yeah. I would like definitely maybe record her reaction because she, she oh, would be yeah. like, she, I can just imagine what her face would look yeah. like seeing some of the things in Saltburn, but it's amazing. And you have to let it sit in. When I first got done watching, I was like, what the fuck? That was like insane. Like, what did I just watch? It was gross. It was and, like, I almost like hated it. But then mm. the more I sat and like, let it like. Ruminate. <laughs> yeah. Just like, oh, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> You've it photosynthesized yeah, it yeah, in. Exactly. <laughs> and I love it now. I'm obsessed. I want to watch oh, it like, cool. every day. Oh, that's cool. Well, so. you're great with uh, recommendations because earlier in the year you recommended The Menu. And it's like horror adjacent. It's suspense, yeah. I, would, I would say. Yeah. But it's seriously one of my favorite movies of last Such year. Such so an interesting good. concept. Yeah. Great yeah. concept. Fantastic acting. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Great cast. Even John Leguizamo. He was oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Great, great movie. I, I enjoyed it a lot. But uh, yeah, that's I think we talked about yeah, enough movies. we did chat about movies. Oh. <laughs> I know. And why do we have a podcast about movies? Because we love talking about movies. That's exactly <laughs> because right. Because I love movies. <laughs> that was one of my lines on the great movie, right? R.I.P. Oh, R.I.P. Yeah. You ready to get in? I'm what ready. we got in store for next year? Yeah. Cool. I'm so, ready. As you guys know, we have segments that we go through, kind of like a roundtable discussion. Things are changing a little bit for next year. 
Um, obviously, our, our first section is dig up the bones. That's staying the same. We just give a brief synopsis and some background on the movie, so nothing's changing about that. Uh, where the most change is happening is, is in our roundtable discussion called Feasting Fiends. Um, pros, those are staying the same. Cons, those are staying the same. We used to have a segment called Favorite and Most Annoying Character. We're kind of just combining those two to characters. We're trying to have more of an open conversation and talk about freely whether we liked them or didn't like them or felt indifferent, but this will give us a chance to touch more on like all the characters and not just the ones we liked or hated. And then our next segment was favorite lines. We watched a ton of movies where there's like nothing to talk about as far as lines go. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah, we were fishing a lot of times for hours to find something. So, you know, if we have something great, bring them. If we don't, like we can just breeze through and be like, the dialogue was terrible. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. After that, we had favorite kills or scares. That's staying the same. Uh, but we are going to throw an extra segment in at the end called Loose Ends. And that's just where it's a catch-all segment. A lot of times I found myself trying to shoehorn things into certain segments because I didn't have a place for it. So this will just give us a chance if we have an opinion on something or there was something weird in the scene, we can bring it up here. After that, we go to Final Cut. That's where I just covered the ending of the film. And then I th my most favorite part, I think Shelley's, Voices from Beyond. Oh, well, it's the one segment I do. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's where you guys uh, become part of the podcast. You guys share your thoughts on a movie we watched. And then we, uh, we read them on air. After that, we just do interesting facts. And then we build our wheel. So that's the setup of the, uh, the podcast and some of the changes that we're making for next year. All good things. All good things. So are we ready? Yeah, so do we just want to go down the list? Do you want to present your 10 first? You yes, first? that's fine. I'll go first. Yeah. Let me look at this list that I printed up because we are a news organization as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to talk about how you went in picking your movies for the list? Like, what was your thought process in selecting your 10? Like, did you have, like, a game plan? Did you, like, just pick movies that you thought you would like, movies you didn't want to see? Like, tell, yeah. tell us a little bit. I wanted a variety I wanted stuff I've seen. I wanted some recent stuff that I liked. I wanted some stuff, older stuff I haven't seen. I did look for some genres that maybe we haven't touched yet. So just okay, trying, just like trying to stuff. bring in some more stuff and maybe some stuff I knew people would like or that I personally liked. So all right. just like trying to look all over the board. How about you? Uh, I like to throw a couple that I haven't seen, a couple I seen and liked, maybe a couple that I seen and don't like, um, just to kind of spruce it up a little bit and then like a wide range of like today movies and like older you know 70s 80s type of movies yeah so so it's, it sounds like we attacked it sort of the same yeah just looking for a variety of stuff we saw old stuff new stuff yeah awesome yeah so ready for my list i am ready cool so first movie that i picked was saint maude it's a recent movie that i've seen I can't remember if it's an A24, but it definitely has like an A24 feel to it. But it, it's it's uh, about this nurse who's having this like religious conflict internally. And it's just, it, it amps up and gets crazier and crazier. And it's just a fun film. So what year did it come out? This was 2020. All right. St. Maude. And then uh, the next film I chose was X, Ty All West. Right. Okay. So saw that. I thought it was really fun. And I want to go down the rabbit hole of this series because I want to talk about Pearl. And then Maxine, I think, is coming out this year. Isn't Pearl the prequel to X? Yeah. So, so like you could. I know X came out first, but you ideally could watch them Pearl X and then like the third one. That exactly. Come out. For me, the way I the way I like the films is I like X first just because it, it gives like an introduction to Pearl. And then we see like in Pearl itself kind of the crazy background how she got there so i kind of liked that way of learning of pearl so that's why i was, I was going back and forth because i was like i could go pearl first but uh yeah. i just i decided on x first uh next one is ringu the uh japanese original one I not the american put that on my list oh cool yeah it was the japanese the ringu yeah, the original one it's on Tubi, and yeah I and the fun thing is i haven't seen the original japanese one I've seen the American one. So now the American one is Sarah Michelle Gellar, right? No, it's uh, no, Naomi not the Watts. Ring. Naomi Watts. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm thinking The Grudge. Sorry, almost the same movie. Yeah, though. yeah, <laughs> same, same concept. <laughs> same, yeah, black-haired, creepy. 
Asian girl. Americans biting on uh, Japanese movies. Yeah. yeah. But um, I saw it on Tubi, and I was like, oh, great. Our first season, it was on my list, but it never even made it on the wheel. So I was like, let's give it another shot. Next film is Street Trash. Never heard of it. I didn't know anything of this movie, and there's this t-shirt company called Creeporama, and yes. they were at Spooky this year, yeah. bought a ton of stuff from them, and they have a Street Trash shirt. And I was like, what the hell is this movie? And I looked it up, and it's just it's about these homeless people who are exploding because they get this concoction from a liquor store. And I was like, that yeah. sounds right up my alley. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, and I saw that it was, um, I think it's on Tubi as well. So I was like, I got I to gotta put it on the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> you look ecstatic. Yeah, no, i already <laughs> so excited. Yes. My next movie was The Witch. On okay. A, on a Taylor Joy. It was actually the first film I saw of her. Isn't it? No, I did. I think I did see this. I've seen this. I saw this in the theaters, I think. Oh, nice. I, yeah. I wish that I could see it in the theaters. Uh, I watched it maybe like two years ago, and I absolutely loved it. Um, showing my cards a little bit. But it will be interesting because I watched, I loved it on the initial watch, but we'll see. Because in all of our movies. I don't remember liking it. Oh, you don't remember yeah, liking it? I think it? I fell asleep during it. Oh, okay. I can't use that as a judgment because I fall asleep during <laughs> a lot of things. So <laughs> This podcast as a whole <laughs> falls asleep a lot. I fall asleep recording this podcast. Dude, uh, I you fell asleep recording this podcast? No. Oh. <laughs> I Was I being, there? I thought you were being serious. I was like, when did that happen? I thought I would have noticed. <laughs> Yeah, so I just, I liked The Witch. Uh, I thought it was cool, and it would be fun to ch chop it up. Uh, next film was, so we've talked about two Italian directors that I like a lot, which is Argento and Fulci. Uh, Mario Bava is another big Italian director that we haven't covered yet, and I wanted to get one of his films, Black Sabbath. It's like an anthology style I've film. I've heard of it. I've never watched it. So I, I thought it would be cool to do like an old anthology style movie. And it was on Tubi. And I was nice. like, great. My next movie, 30 Days a Night. That's the one with uh, that. Josh Hartnett. Hartnett. Yeah. Probably. I was obsessed with him back in the day. Oh, so I definitely saw I can, 30 Days a Night. I can, I can totally understand. But anyways, um, 30 Days a Night, uh, it was a really cool vampire movie I watched yeah. a couple of years ago. I thought the concept was great as far as like these vampires descend on this Alaskan town when they're going through, what is it? The the 30 Days of Night. 30 Days of Night. Yeah. So um, The Winter Solstice, maybe? Yes. Is the technical term? That's what I was going to say, but I wasn't sure. It may not be. We, I don't know. We're not, we're not scientists. We're not Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. Um, my next film was, was actually one that you suggested. Well, you didn't suggest, but you brought it up a while back, and I've never seen it, Event Horizon. You've never seen Event Horizon, I've never huh? seen it. I've seen it several times. I've heard it's crazy. Well, when I was 18, going to one of my first, like, that was one of the first horror movies I saw in the theater. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, it's sci-fi horror, but um, yeah, I saw that with, like, my friend and his dad. <laughs> 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 kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't keep in touch with that friend anymore, but... <laughs> All right. It's not about him. It's all, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck that guy. No, right. But yeah, so uh, I just heard it's crazy. I've heard yeah. a lot of people talk about it as far as like movies was, that were impactful to him. Yeah. I'd be interested in watching it now. Sorry to okay. cut you out. I'm, no, I'm no. just taking Matt's place yeah, and exactly. jumping in, in your room. But I'd be interested because when I was 18, it was really scary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, great. maybe not so much. Yeah. We'll so see. it'll be it'll be cool how you you know feel about it now. And yeah. then uh, another movie I saw that I chose because I found it on Tubi was Dead Snow. Have you heard of this? No. It's zombie Nazis like attacking some people at a ski resort. Yeah. And I was like, that sounds like fun. Interesting. Yeah. I thought it was an interesting concept. And then my final movie, which is also another one I found on Tubi, was uh, is Pieces. And it uh, it looks it was like a 19, 1983 slasher looking film. And uh, it's from the synopsis that I read, it was just a guy's cutting up co-eds and using their bodies as a jigsaw to a puzzle. And I was oh, like, yeah. that sounds like fun. So that was it. I love how sometimes you pick movies just by like, cool. Yeah, that's, uh, well, a lot of a lot of times on the first season, I just looked at the cover like with thirst. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that looks cool as shit. And I put it on the wheel and then we watched a Icelandic homosexual vampire guy bite penises. Yes. So it was a film. It was a film. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> it was. Um, I was just thinking as you were going through your list, one yeah. thing I didn't consider, and, I, and this is maybe something that we're lacking without Matt, is like movies that are good for like kids. Oh. Like horror movies that like teens could watch. Yeah. I didn't pick anything that I think. I don't know if I have any of that. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so Shelly, uh, what oh, movies? Oh, I probably have one. Okay. I probably have one. Okay. What? Now that I'm thinking, maybe two. Oh, cool. Maybe a couple. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Anyways. Yeah. What were you saying? No, I was going to say, what, how about your films? Yes, let's get into it. So um, I did include some from last season uh, that I really wanted. Oh, okay. Um, and so they're back. Yeah, great. <laughs> they either made it on the wheel and never got picked, or they never made it out of the bag. Yeah. And so, and then, like I said before, movies that I've seen, maybe a couple I haven't seen. So my first movie on here is Triangles Back. Yes. 2009, I was, John I was glad Lee to see it. Yeah. recommendation. Mm-hmm. Um, I know nothing about the movie. I'm glad I still know nothing about it. I'm really hoping it gets picked because uh, I'm too. so interested. Because even like seeing like the still images from it, like I'm like I need to know I what know. this movie is about. So awesome. Um, that's one's back. Next is a movie I've seen before. Um, probably pre maybe five years ago. But okay. I used to do like a horror movie watching challenge. Oh I, yes. I don't do it as much anymore, but. This was a movie I watched, and I <laughs> kind of picked this as just kind of like a <laughs> kind of movie oh, to put yeah. in there to piss people off. Okay. Um, but it's the stuff. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. It was either that or um, and I couldn't find it anywhere streaming. I really wanted to add Society. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, I chose that. I love that weird one. Is the stuff? So, yeah. Um, it's like a 1985 movie, but it's about this weird substance that everyone's eating <laughs> and can't get enough of <laughs> the stuff. Next movie, I've talked about it on the podcast. It's one of my favorite Rob Zombie vo- films, so it has made it now. I'm pretty sure it's on Tubi, so that's why I picked yep. it. Uh, 31. Yes. So we are going to watch 31. I really hope it has one of my favorite movie dialogues of all time. Oh, yeah. In the very first five minutes of the film. Um and you wouldn't believe starting it by watching that dialogue that you're about to get into the crazy ride that you are going to embark on. Did you ever yes. end up watching 31 because of my recommendation? Yes, right? I did. And I think yeah. I watched it when I was sick. And yeah, I think you did. And, yeah. and uh, it was it was a ton of fun. It's, it is fun. One of Rob Zombie's better films. For yeah, sure. I mean, you now that we watched House of Thousand Corpses last yeah. year, and then you look at a movie like 31, you're like, man, the, the guy really, is, like his genius has come along. Yeah, long way, but yeah. Next, now this movie I had never seen. It's on Tubi, so I picked it. It was kind of like one of your... Yeah. I pulled a Derek. Filling in blanks. But I think, like, I heard, like, it's intense. Okay. So, um, but... Oh, and it's Adam Green who does... Um, oh, ha- yes. Ha- ha- Holliston? Hol- and Hatchet. The Hatchet, Hatchet movies yes. as well. Um, So, it's called Frozen. What's funny is my sister-in-law texted me a couple months back because she knows I'm a horror junkie. And she was like, have you ever seen this Frozen film? I just watched it. She's like, it was kind of crazy. And I was like, oh, no, I've never watched it. And I never watched it. And you put it on the list. I was like, oh, good. Now I can finally watch it and talk to my sister-in-law. <laughs> and to be fair, it's not the one with Anna and Elsa. No, no, no. This fair. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one you were looking at? You're like, well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It's a little scary to some. <laughs> Depending if people mess up. So I'm really excited for that one. Um, back again for this season is Lake Mungo found yeah. footage. Mm-hmm. Um, supposed to be crazy. Next is an 80s slasher, so to say, that I've seen several times. Sleepaway Camp. Yes excited yeah excited so we have that in the um bag my next movie is a movie that personally scares me Uh uh-huh and also uh, this is one of my ones that i think kids could probably watch this one okay paranormal activity yeah the original um they get a little insane after like the third one but But there's um, nothing grotesque or anything it's just scary right and there's nothing like the original paranormal activity i remember all of Mm -hmm. us going to the theaters and watching it and just how freaked out it did to us and yeah. <laughs> that, that movie was one that i was because a ton of like horror stuff that i saw because i got into horror like 18 like when i was older and stuff but i actually watched it uh when netflix started oh off. like for did yeah. you get the disc in the I mail did. <laughs> i did i got three at a time because we're we're oh, super you're rich bougie, <laughs> yeah bougie, super rich three. but uh that's actually how i saw a ton of like that's how i like Your sunk my teeth into the movie. yep so uh i was blown away when i saw it the first time because you know besides that and like blair witch like i didn't know much of it and i thought that was like a different way to to do the found footage that was super creative and it was it was freaky as all get out yeah yeah so i'm excited for that one cool next we have the original 1984 children of the corn Oh, yes. Oh, (laughs) Malachi. Yeah, that's right. I feel like we might have had that in the bag once before. I feel like we have as well. I feel like Matt. Season one. I feel like Matt might have had his second season. Maybe. Possibly. Um, Next is a movie that I feel like I've started. I don't think I've ever watched all the way through. It is a newer horror movie. It's a, I don't know if you could call it a cult classic. Some people love it. You either love it or hate it. But it's 2014's The Babadook. 
Oh. Have you seen it? I have. Oh, okay. I have a story. We'll get into it if we land yeah. on it. We don't have time for it now. Yeah. But when I saw it was on your lift list, I got excited. Yeah. Because I, I, I had a very special relationship with this film when it came out. Nice. Yes. So also, Children of the Corn, Babadook. I think people, like kids, like yeah. teens could watch those. Yeah. Babadook. Not a lot of horror, like blood or gore exactly. or like sex or yeah. like nudity kind of stuff. I think it would be okay. Yeah. It's just scary. Yeah, exactly. You can handle the scary. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and then my last movie, which is actually a movie I know I love. Okay. And me and Derek have actually talked to this movie uh, extensively because I think this is my, maybe one of the first horror movies me and you were like, yeah, we've seen that movie, is Battle Royale. Oh. Right? Ba- ah! Battle Royale was the jump off point because I was starting getting into horror at the same time. And then, like, I saw this thing that was kind of horror adjacent, but it was just, like, ultra violent, crazy foreign film. And it just, like, it caused this reaction in me where I wanted to find, and I, I went down a rabbit hole on, on crazy Japanese films. And that's why I found Ichi the killer, which was on, oh, yeah, yeah, on yeah. which was on our list last year. But, um, yeah, when I saw that, I was like, I ain't mad about Are that. Are you at proud all. of me and my list this year? Did you You're, like my list? I liked your list last year. It was great. I always, yes, <laughs> but no, I, <laughs> fun I fact. Loved- can I fun fact you? Yeah, fun fact it. I did it in 10 minutes. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Well, yeah, I texted you. I was like, hey, do you have your 10 movies? You're like, oh, I haven't even thought about it. And it was like 20 minutes later. You're like, oh, here it is. I'm like, that was fast. Yeah. It took yeah. me way too long to do mine. But yeah. I'm just, I overthink shit. Yeah, I think that made it a little better that I was yeah. just like, boom, here's a yeah. movie. Here's a movie. But when I did see your list, uh, yeah, there were a couple there that I was, I, I was super excited about. Nice. Nice. All right, do you want me to continue on? Yeah, if you would, Because now we're going to get into our listeners' picks. Fan submission movies. Fan submission yep. movies. They are in the bag. This in is what's bag. made it into the bag. How many? I think we had 10 this year. Yep, 10. Yes. Um. So how it works is if your movie is on the wheel and it gets picked, we're going to reach out to you in any aspect. You can send us notes about your thoughts on the movie. We can have you call in and you can record with us. You can come meet us in person as long as you're not creepy <laughs> and um, record with us that way, too. So yep. we want to get you involved or you do nothing. Yeah. If you decide that um, you just wanted to submit a movie but don't want to be any part of the recording, we're fine with that, too. But we yep. want to just get you all involved. We do hope to have some guest hosts throughout the season. Yeah. So you're not just listening to me and Derek. <laughs> Although I think we're doing a pretty damn good job, just the two of us. We are carrying it pretty well. Yeah, we I are. I think so. Yeah. Fuck you, Matt. No, <laughs> <laughs> love you love you you're the best i'm doing hard hands with both my hands oh, on fingers like that's weird what, kids do yeah what is that that they're like it's i like can't even do like it that, right i can't even do it no that's how i do it but yeah. kids like teenagers oh, are like is that like a gang like, thing they do know, the blood they're doing thing some weird things <laughs> 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 so anyways yeah if we um so fingers crossed that you get on our wheel mm-hmm. you get picked yeah we'll, we'll reach out so let's get into it let's do it First is uh, Matt, of all people. Matt oh, W. Matt. Yeah. Um, he is submitting The Shining, Stephen King's 1980s yeah. The Shining. I, that might have been on his list last year. I think it was. I think he's dying for us to watch Shining. Yeah. It, so I, I got no problems with that one no, at I, all. Yeah, Shining's yeah. a good uh, uh, movie. What's his name? <laughs> Stephen King book. Uh, yeah. Stan- Stanley Kubrick. Stanley Kubrick movie. Director, yeah. Next on our list is submitted from Roger we R. <laughs> and it's <laughs> Deathgasm, which is I think an, a foreign. I think it's a is movie, New Zealand or something. Yes, like that. yeah. He was saying it was a New Zealand movie, like metal horror kind yeah. of stuff. So, um, I know nothing about it. So, good luck, Roger. <laughs> Next up from <laughs> Jeremy W. Jeremy Dubs. We got the Exorcist Believer, which I believe is the new Exorcist the new that just came out last year. Yeah. Have you seen it? No. I I was gonna watch it, and then when he suggested, I I pulled back. Yeah. And I was like, just let's. In case. Let's have it fresh. Yeah. It's cool. Uh, next from Carrie W. Hey. We have Scream. Yeah. Classic. No. I don't know. It's from the 90s. I hate to call anything from the 90s a classic. I but know, but yeah, you can call it a modern classic. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Franchise. I would allow, I would allow it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve F. We have The Haunting. The Ooh, original, original 1963, The Haunting, okay. not the remake. Yes. With Catherine Zeta Jones or whoever was in that. Yeah. Maybe that was House on High Hill. I can't remember. I confuse them. I'm going to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> um, I've seen this movie. It's great. It scared yeah. me as a child. So Awesome. My dad showed me some things when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> Good um, job, Dad. Next, we have Sherry F. Hey. And she submitted Alien. Oh, yes. Fun fact, she hates aliens. I but know. But Alien is one of her favorite horror movies. I know. So. 
Uh, Ridley Scott, sci-fi horror, 1979. Great movie. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Lisa C or R, however, however you care to call her. Yeah. Uh, she has submitted Night of the Living Dead, the original. Oh, no. no Night of the Living Dead. Oh, he did. Th- she did the Tom Savini remake from yep. 1990. She wants a 1990 remake. Oh. And I was like, ooh, we did have Night of the Living Dead, the original, last yeah, year. Never yeah. Been, I don't even it think never, it. No, I don't think it came out of the bag. Didn't even get on the wheel. No. So we'll see if Mr. Savini's ends up on the wheel. All right. And then next we have Horror Flicks and Guitar Picks yeah, podcast. Our buddy Submitted Tim. The Wailing. Yeah, that'd be. 2016. That looks like a foreign film. Is it a foreign or is it? I think it's Korean. Korean? Okay. Yeah. It, it's, uh, I've heard of it. Again, another movie that's Surprising. on people's list. Tim's podcast is amazing, and I, I reached out to him, and he said, yeah, it'd be cool to get on. So I was like, give me a movie. He gave us yeah. the wailing. So Sickness super starts awesome. spreading. That yes. sounds like maybe it's got some gross stuff in it. Could be. I've not heard of it. Um, next, we have Brian M., who, um, again, yes. uh, tr- suggested Behind the Mask with Rise of Leslie, Leslie Vernon. Um, you gave us a couple other suggestions, but I'm going to be honest, me and Derek were kind of like, we would love behind the mask to yes. make it on the wheel and possibly get I chosen. Know. I think that's a great one for us to discuss. Yeah, I, I know believe nothing. We bo- oh, you know nothing. I know nothing. I've seen it. I've seen it several times actually. I, I enjoy it. I've seen it on a lot of lists for like underrated horror films. Yeah, it's one of those movies where like find out someone hasn't watched it and I'll sit down and watch it with them. I'm okay. like, let's watch it. Let's put it on. Yeah, kind of thing, fun. So. And then lastly, we have Ray, who was one of our first TikTok comments. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, Ray. Who uh, suggested. Dash cam from 2022. Rob Savage. I know nothing. It's like a found footage something film. I think it looks like it like could a be cell like phone a video found film. footage kind of thing. Yeah. It's in that vein, but uh, I have heard it's it's good. Again, one that I've I haven't seen yet, so it'll be fun to dig into that and maybe try to get Ray on the podcast one way or yeah, another. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, awesome. Yes. So thanks for all your suggestions. Um, fingers crossed your movie at least makes it on the wheel mm-hmm. and maybe even get picked. That's right. So those are the 30 films that are going to end up in the bag that are already in the bag. I've done the work, but uh, yeah, I think at this point we are ready to build and pull our first 10 movies. You ready for it? I am ready. But yeah, Shelly's going to go and uh, pull out the movies like she always does, and she's going to help us build our first wheel. It's always fun on the first draw because I get to pick 10. Yes. It's the I most know. I get to pick all season. So much action in one oh episode. Oh my gosh, it's so much. Okay. <laughs> Number one. Numero uno. I'm really mixing it up. That's good. I tried to, I actually dumped everything out to double count, well, count and make sure it was 30. What do we got? First film. Alien from Alien. Sherry F. Wow. Alien. Right off the bat. Movie number one. So that is a listener submission. Her movie got picked from the wheel last That's season. That's right. So. An American Werewolf in London. That's right. She's got, she's got some fantastic suggestions yes. so keep them keep them coming all right movie number two Ooh, sounds oh my god who's what is it scream from carrie w oh scream from care a lot of listener movies thus far already yes. goodness you guys are overtaking the wheel at this I point know. which is good we need a third co-host no, just <laughs> <laughs> all right movie number three i feel number like three. this new mic it really is like ASMR. yeah as soon as you're on it yeah Oh, I was like, another one. No, it's you. <laughs> oh, it's me. It's a, it's a, it's a Derek pick. And it is street trash. Street trash. Yes. Listen, Henry too isn't in the bag this year, so hey. I'm not mad at all. <laughs> Here's the thing. I didn't want to. I don't want to have a bad time this year. I'm looking for fun. <laughs> we're having a good time. At least fun is what we're looking <laughs> and for. And a minimum. Yes. So all street right. trash. Movie Next number one. four. The Wailing, suggested Ooh. by Horror Flicks and Guitar Picks. The Wailing. Almost half the wheel is all listener picks right I know, now. I know. It's gonna That's be, insane. It's going to be a fun year. I'm did really looking forward to Did you double them in here? Double you, what? Did you load the bag? Like no, <laughs> I clearly. <laughs> the extras. I put, I put little none wa- of mine. <laughs> I put little weights on you and I's. <laughs> so they all dropped Yeah, them. they're at the bottom of the oh. bag. Another listener one? Yes. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. I'm really and I'm mixing them up in between. Yeah. We have Behind the Mask. Oh gosh. From Brian M. Behind the Mask. I'm just gonna put that instead of the Yeah, whole don't thing. put yeah. We know what it is. Um that's our first five. And wow. only one of ours made it so far. That's so. right. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see what <laughs> let's see what the second half lower. of this poll does. I'm going low. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, one of mine finally. Yes. The Babadook. Ooh. Babadook, yep. All 
right, that was number six. So we're moving on to movie number seven. Mm. We're getting there. And we have another one of mine. We have The Stuff. Ooh, yes. I'm very <laughs> excited about that. The Stuff. Another one that sounds right in my alley. I love yeah. that we have street trash and the stuff on the wheel. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the names right now. Yeah. All right, number eight. We have, oh, my gosh. Another listener? Yes. Oh, my gosh. The Shiny. Oh, wow. Oh, there you go, Matt. You're in the mix. Good for you. That's number eight. We got two more. Nice. Two more. Two more. What are we getting? This wheel's looking good. The art list, the whole the list, list is looks fantastic. Good, yeah. yeah. Number nine is Event Horizon. Oh, hey, hey. Event Horizon. And the last and final. Final movie. Movie for the first ten. Is. You stay right there, Frankie. <laughs> Do not fall over and dump all dump the movies. Dump all the movies. Make a mess. Paranormal activity. Hey, nice. And that's our first 10. Tons. Tons of listener movies. Tons. I'm shocked. I, I don't know. think this happened last. This is the first time. It's the first yeah. time for us having so. so many listeners on the wheel at once. So. Uh, yeah. One less host has made the fans a much bigger part of the show as far as percentage wise. Getting on the wheel. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking math, people. <laughs> 10 less movies gives you a better chance. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready for the wheel? I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. All right. All right, so. Wheel of death. Wheel of death. Wheel of death. Wheel of death. Oh, yes. Oh, it would be. <laughs> to kick off the 2024 season, we are watching Street Trash. <laughs> The Be prepared to watch homeless people blow up. <laughs> the one movie that I was like, <laughs> I, I, don't movie, I don't know. It's getting out of the way. It's going to be smooth uh, sailing after this. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So let's see where Street Trash is playing. Oh, yeah. I wasn't just... mostly prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just the picture. Did you? Yeah, right? Uh, it's on Tubi. Great. But it looks like it could possibly be on AMC as well. If, if you, you have, have AMC that. Plus yep. or like actual cable. Actual cable. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so Street Trash, that is on Tubi. It's a horror comedy. <laughs> is that what it says? <laughs> God damn it. Horror Fucking horror comedies. <laughs> Good God. But uh, but yeah, as always, guys, we'll be dropping an episode in two weeks. We'll be posting on our socials, where obviously where you can watch Street Trash, but also give us your thoughts so we can uh, include them in the episode. And with that... If you'd like to follow us on social media, we're on Instagram at Little Bracket of Horrors. Facebook, just search Little Bracket of Horrors. Uh, we also are on TikTok now. We're just getting our feet wet with that. So check us out there if you're on TikTok. Also, we got uh, merch available at uh, tpublic.com. If you just go to their website, you can search in their search bar, Little Bracket of Horrors. Or if you pay attention to our socials, we'll post links there. We'll be watching 20 films this season. And at the end of the season, we're going to be doing a, a, a deathmatch bracket. So make sure that you tune in and stay with us through the end of the season. And then just like last season where people submitted brackets. Yeah. And they had a big impact yeah. on our winner. Which we kind of need that this year. We yes. need your brackets because we do. there's only two of us. Exactly. So we're going to need that like tiebreaker vote exactly. somewhere. So. All right, guys. With that, I'm Derek. I'm Shelly. And we will catch you on the other side. <laughs> Thank you.